In this video, we're going to describe the differences between survey and coordinate geometry points, often referred to as COGO points. On the left of the display window, we have a survey point, number 578, and on the right-hand side of the display window, we have a COGO point, point number 579. Uh, we have four bulleted differences between those points. We're going to walk through them, and we're going to show the differences inside of Civil 3D. The first difference is that survey points are displayed on both the prospector and the survey tabs, whereas COGO points are only displayed on the prospector tab. If I go to the survey tab of the tool space and I go to my survey import event and I select survey points, down here you can see that point 578 is displayed only. We do not have point 579 showing up in this location, whereas in the prospector tab, under points, we have both 0.578 and 0.579 showing. The second difference is that survey points have an icon next to them that look like a survey target, whereas Kogo points have an icon next to them that looks like a circle overlaid on crosshairs. That is displayed below in the points list, showing the survey icon or the Kogo point icon. The third difference is that survey points cannot be moved or edited without accessing the survey database and using specialized commands for editing survey points, whereas Kogo points can be moved even using basic non-Civil 3D drafting commands. If I select a survey point and I try and move it using grip editing, it will not move. And if I type in a command to move it, when I select the movement of it, it will bounce back to its original location. Whereas a Kogo point can be selected, grip edited, and moved using a move command. To edit a survey point, you have to go to the survey tab, go to the survey points, and choose to edit those points. In here, in the panorama window, you can select the easting, the northing, the elevation, the description, or the point number, and change them. The other difference is that survey points cannot be edited in a properties window, whereas Kogo points can be edited in a property window. If I go and select the points and right click and choose edit points inside of the panorama window, you'll notice that the survey point is grayed and uneditable for the point number, easting, northing, point elevation, and raw description. Whereas the Kogo point can be edited for point number, easting, northing, point elevation.